Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. And I'm Erica Sargent. The Catholic Church significantly underreported the clergy abuse problem in Illinois and continues to do so. That's the finding of an explosive report released today by the Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey has been digging into this massive report. She joins us now. Megan, the majority of those abusive clergy members are from the Archdiocese of Chicago. Right, Joe and Erica. This report says there were 275 abusive clerics and religious brothers, but currently the list on the Archdiocese of Chicago's website names just 150 abusers. I asked Cardinal Blaise Supich to explain the discrepancy. Decades of Catholic leadership decisions and policies have allowed known child sex abusers to hide, often in plain sight. Can you respond to that? Yes, I think in the past that's true. But I think ever since 2002, uh, or an heir in this archdiocese in 1993, we've had a policy over the past 30 years where, in fact, we turned the corner on that. Before Attorney General Kwame Raoul's investigation, all of the Catholic Diocese of Illinois publicly listed only 103 substantiated child sex abusers. During the course of the four year investigation, names were added, but Raoul's newly released report reveals names and detailed information of 451 Catholic clerics. For example, in our area, the Diocese of Joliet currently lists 52 abusers. The AG report identifies 69. The Archdiocese of Chicago lists 150 abusers. The AG report names 275. There is no undisclosed name whatsoever. There's no cover-up, no hiding whatsoever. Cardinal Blaise Supich broke down the numbers for me. He says five were duplicates. Of the 120 that aren't on their list, five were ordained for another diocese and reportedly serving in the archdiocese. The other 115 are order clerics or lay brothers, and they don't have access to any of those records. We don't have the, uh, uh, the freedom that the state does to go in and take the files of, of a group. And so we, have, we, ha we don't uh, put them on our list because we can't substantiate them. One of those clerics who appears on the AG list but not on the archdiocese list is Robert Noel Brulette. In 2000, he was convicted of 10 counts of child pornography in Will County. Seattle added him to its list in 2006. Phoenix did too in 2020. It's unclear why Brulette would have been left off the archdiocese of Chicago's list. Cardinal Supich says they will review the entire list and the recommendations from the attorney general's office. This is an issue of the past. We need to make sure that we bring healing, but we have to bow to our past, but not be bound by it. Now we have a link to the full report and the list by the diocese on our website. Head to cbschicago.com and click this story. As for criminal charges for some of the cases involving clergy who are still alive, Attorney General Raul said his office referred some cases to prosecutors, but they are not aware of any new criminal charges at this time. In the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Megan, thank you.